Now, because we are gonna be putting the fans on the top, as well as the radiator on the inside, that means we're gonna use the longer screw that is supplied with the hardware of the 240M. If you're gonna be mounting the radiator to the roof with the fans on the bottom, you'll use the shorter screws to mount the fans to the radiator and the shortest screws that come with the installation kit to mount the radiator to the top of your case. So as always, this is always gonna vary depending on what hardware you're installing the Nepton 240M into. So you're gonna to want to closely refer to your case and plan ahead before you start trying to screw anything down. Now, regardless of whether or not you're installing the fans in the top of the case or underneath the bottom of the case, it's important to make sure that you have them oriented correctly. Now, in order to maintain the best exhausting experience for your case, you're going to want to install your fans in a pool configuration, which means the air is coming through the radiator and out the top of the case, uh, regardless of which way your fans are going, whether they're going on the top of the case or the inside of the case, you want the fans moving air out and turn these into an exhaust. That's going to be the most optimum configuration for this setup. And once you get your fan cables routed through the fan cable slot, you're going to go ahead and take your long screws and just pass them through the fans. Okay, so now we've got the fans ready to go on the inside and the screws are sticking through the bottom. We're going to go ahead and gently maneuver our radiator into place. We're going to get one or two of the fan screws started to hold the radiator in place and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the rest. It's time to go ahead and get our block installed. Now you're gonna go ahead and take your Cooler Master Thermal Compound, and you're gonna apply a pea-sized drop right to the center of the CPU. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that plastic off the bottom of the block. And then we're gonna go ahead and position our block onto the four standoffs that we installed earlier. Okay, once you have your block installed, the next thing you wanna do is locate a four pin fan header on the motherboard and go ahead and install your pump. Now it will work with three pin as well. However, you could have pump fan control with PWM signal if you hook it up to a four pin PWM. Now the next thing you wanna do is take your PWM splitter cable, attach it to the CPU fan header. Usually it is a four pin PWM circuit. And then go ahead and feed it through your cable management hole at the top and plug your fans into that. And then once you plug in your cooler fans to the CPU header fan splitter, you are now running a brand new Cooler Master Nepton 240M water cooler. Well guys, as you can see, that's all there is to it. Installing the Nepton 240M inside of your case is as easy as can be. The Cooler Master 240M really makes it simple to install it in any case, and it packs a lot of performance inside of a small package. Guys, this has been Jace Two Cents. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope it has helped you in some way. And if it has, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.